Good afternoon everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing very well. It is actually 3.30pm for me, where's, I've left my hairbrush, don't mind my hair, left my hairbrush, two seconds, got it. Um, so this morning slash this afternoon I have been at work um, and I thought I would just film the rest of my day today. I wasn't supposed to be working today, oh god my hair's naughty. Um, I wasn't actually supposed to be working today, but they were short staffed, so I agreed to do the morning. Basically, I washed my hair last night, dried it, and then I didn't like straighten it or anything. So my hair's naturally quite wavy, um, so it does require a little bit of straightening for it to not look so unruly. <laughs> today is going to consist of... I need to meal plan basically um so i'm gonna sit down and do some of that and i'm also actually gonna do some of my accountancy course because it's been so long since i've actually sat down and done any of that and it just needs doing if i'm honest i like really haven't done much of it for weeks but the thing is with the open university or the type of course that i'm doing because it's not like a degree or anything um there's no like deadlines for work or anything like that to be submitted it's just like you do it as and when you can and then you just get a certificate at the end it's not like a certification um if you've been watching a while you'll have seen seen me do this and seen when i enrolled and things and it was very exciting and i think when i start new things like i hyper fixate on it so i did like a lot of the course quite early on and then as i've got busier and just things life has got in the way um it's kind of slowed down the amount that i've been doing it so i'm gonna do some more this afternoon basically i'm doing this course just as like a like an expansion of knowledge basically because one thing i don't understand is why in schools we don't learn more about these types of things and i think especially when self-employment and people starting their own small businesses and things like that is like so so much on the rise especially since um the lockdowns and things people um people found it as a time to basically use their creativity and start their own businesses but a lot of people like myself i mean not that i started a small business but um a lot of people don't kind of understand the accountancy side of it um and i just kind of think that with being partially self-employed it's just useful to know it's just useful stuff to know you know so i feel like i said you know a lot there so that's why i'm doing the accountancy course just to expand my knowledge get a bit more um knowledge around taxes and things like that um so i'm just grabbing my fringe um yeah some more knowledge around taxes and just making sure that like I kind of know how my money's working if that makes sense um it is a free course as well so like anyone can do it which i think is like pretty cool because i kind of feel like for stuff like that like it's just stuff that people i feel should know and we don't get taught in school um as i said so the f because i feel like if i were to i feel like something like that like i don't need to go to university and get a degree as it were because i'm not i'm not gonna be an accountant do you know what i mean there's no real need for me to go to university or anything like that so yeah free online courses are the way to go for me for stuff like that um i'm just popping some oil in my hair i've started using this a lot more recently um i just put it on pretty much every day because that's just good for your hair isn't it <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my accountancy course. I'm gonna meal plan. What else have I got on? I did write a little list of like to-dos. I've already, so I actually finished work at around half past one and I've been home for like, I don't know, two hours, but I've just been doing like general housework, like changing Billy's litter, um, doing the dishes, just like stuff, you know? I still need to put some washing away as well. That's on my bed. It's like the absolute worst part of doing washing, isn't it? Is putting it away. So, is that all done? I mean, it's done enough, isn't it? Oh, also, I want to try out something which I've seen on TikTok. I want to try it out a bit later on, but it requires, like, false tanning first. Sounds strange, but I'll let you know. I promise it. I'm, well, I have to say I promise. I'm hoping that it's going to turn out okay. Um, but, yeah, I've got, like, literally no makeup on. Usually, I just do put something through my brows but this morning it was I woke up at 
quarter, no, woke up at quarter past five, left the house at quarter to six. Just the thought of, yeah, straightening my hair and putting stuff on my face was just the last thing I wanted to do because I still wanted to be in bed. Honestly, getting out of bed this morning was such a task. It was such a task. It is so cold outside. I don't know why or how in the last couple of days, especially the temperature has just dropped, like absolutely plummeted. And I'm not enjoying it. I'm not. That was a very early, very cold start to the day. And yeah, it's officially coat season, I think. Yeah, let's crack on to doing the accountancy course and yeah. Okay, so I've just sat down to um, do my meal planning. So basically I've got this board, which I got off Amazon originally. I love this board. Where have I put the, oh, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna rub everything off. Actually, let me just have a look. Yeah, so basically it's just like a, a clear whiteboard that goes on the fridge just to let me know what meals I have planned slash like would like to have in the week. To be honest, most of the stuff is pretty repetitive at the minute. Um, I'm just, I'm just enjoying certain things at the moment that I like having over and over again. Like I went through that phase, didn't I, where I had fish finger wraps like all the time. I've kind of gone off them. Have I gone off them? I don't know if I've gone off them or if I've just like not fancied one. Um, but I'm sure if I make one, I would still enjoy it. But like, do you know what I mean? So. We've moved on from fish finger wraps. I don't quite know what the alternative is right now, um, but I'm just gonna plan out the week. Now I am left-handed, so like I have to do it that way because if I did that way and then there, I would end up rubbing off these ones. So I have to start from Wednesday, then do Tuesday, Saturday, Monday, Friday, Sunday, Thursday, which might really get on some people's nerves. I feel like if I was watching that, it would probably get on my nerves. But to be honest, as I've said in loads of vlogs before, this isn't like a rigid, this is what I'm gonna eat on Sunday and this is what I'm gonna eat for my tea on that day. It's just a generalized, like this is what I've got in, this is the meals that I've thought of. And I just kind of pick one, if you know what I mean. So um, that's how I'm gonna do it. Let's get planning. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I am having a total blank on lunches. I've got literally no idea what what I want for lunch, <laughs> apparently ever again. Uh, I don't understand. Anyway, for the breakfast and the evening meals, I've gone, I've gone for some eggs on toast. I love having boiled eggs on toast, so I've put that down. I've got some cereal down, oats, pretty generic stuff, um, some avocado on toast and a granola yogurt these are like the ones that you can get from aldi where it's just like a little pot of yogurt and then on top it's got the granola i think i've got some in the fridge at the minute actually let me show you them so it's just basically these um so this is the strawberry one we quite like the strawberry ones and then it's just got a little bit of granola in the top these are great for like a grab and go breakfast or just when i don't know you want something quick and you can't be bothered to cook or like make anything these are great and if you want protein in 22 grams per pot <laughs> um but yeah so that's what they are do you know the only thing i can think of for lunches is like a wrap so i feel like i love a tuna mayo wrap so i'm gonna put pop some of them in um, maybe it's like a ham and cheese wrap or like, I don't know, we'll think of something. Okay, so we are filled in now. So basically I've put tuna wrap on three times there. Um, the rice paper spring rolls, I actually forgot I even had these. So I got them from Amazon. I'm sure you can get them from pretty much anywhere, but they're the Vietnamese rice papers. 
and honestly they are so so filling um and they're brilliant that i just love them I, I completely forgot that i had these so um i'll show you those as well so this is them like i say i got them from amazon and um you you basically just wet them in warm water and they go they go soft and then you just pop in whatever you want and then i actually just pop mine in a frying pan with just very very little oil and just kind of toast them a little bit but these are brilliant and i've got loads of them left so yeah they will last me a while so i've got those on twice and then i also so this pesto chicken wrap i actually just searched on pinterest um easy lunches and this came up which looks good which looks really easy to be fair so it's just shredded chicken pesto and i think that's mayonnaise so i'm just gonna save that into my food and yeah so basically all my lunches are wraps uh i mean that's normal isn't it we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with that and then my evening meals are jollof rice i've got that on twice some stew and rice twice sausage and mash and cajun pasta and then a fajita pasta because i've I realized i've got some fajita seasoning that i'm just gonna use so i'm gonna so i'm gonna make one of those probably tonight actually it's been a while since we've had anything like that um but yeah that is my meal planning done for the week i'm gonna write a shopping list i'm not gonna go shopping today just because i don't feel like we actually need to go food shopping just yet we do have stuff in the cupboards that we can eat up first but this is like a good start for when i do next go food shopping um and i'll already have the shopping list done so yeah that is my meal plan ready to go back on the fridge i do actually have two of these i've got one on the side of the fridge here and then i've got one on the front so this is basically this well it's the same thing but this is the schedule for the gym and what classes they've got on that i like instead of having to go on the app and search for it i know that on a wednesday for example body combat is on at these times and that the step class is on at this time zumba is on at this time so any days that i'm free that i can go to a class at certain times then i know what's on so it's a little bit later on and i've just been busy answering some emails and i've been i've started a new series by the way i've closed the curtains because basically when the sun gets round to that side of the house the glare on my tv is pretty much unbearable you can't see a thing so i close the curtains i probably look really anti-social to the rest of the street but Oh well but anyway i've been watching a new series because i finished devious maid recommend that as like a oh, just one of them shows that you can just stick on in the background and funnily enough they had some um they had two characters in it which were also in desperate housewives which i found really interesting because i've just finished that because i just finished desperate housewives before watching devious maids but i've started watching the good doctor now I'm, do you know what? I'm quite impressed. Like, this is the second series that I've started from scratch, as in I've never seen it before in a row. So if you know me, you'll know that I am a serial, like, will watch series over and over again. The ones I've already seen when I don't know what to watch. So to have started one new series that I'd never seen before is amazing. But to watch two unheard of <laughs> but anyway i've started watching the good doctor and i kind of knew that this was going to be good because i've seen clips of it on tiktok and also i've just heard amazing things about it and it's also got the guy who played norman bates in bates motel he's like the main character the main doctor and it's just really interesting it's kind of got a Grey's anatomy vibe but yeah it's um it's really good so i'm gonna sit and watch that for a little bit oh billy's hello you've been looking outside Oh, he's red hot. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Making some biscuits. All right, then. If anyone wants a biscuit order, let me know in the comments and he'll get right on it. <laughs> but he's been sat up on the windowsill and he is so warm because the sun's shining through. Funnily enough, isn't it so weird how we're, we're in that time of year where, like, it is so freezing cold in the mornings and then the sun comes out and it's not too bad? So like you don't know how to dress or anything but i mean it's still quite chilly but do you know what i mean kind of in that like between seasons kind of thing where it's like kind of winter kind of not but yeah i've actually also switched um my heating on so my heating has been on on like boost for the past like couple of weeks where i've just kind of put it on for an hour here and there 
Um, but I've just put the switch on now, so it's going to be coming on regularly because waking up in the morning, especially this morning, was just unbearable when it was so cold. It's on regular. Also, another, this is not interesting at all, but due to current events in the papers, in the news and things, you'll know the horrific war that's going on at the moment. But due to that, there's been some, oh, there's been some suggestion that the energy prices will go up. So I've switched to a fixed rate. Very adult of me. Switched to a fixed rate for 12 months because I was on like a flexible rate. I'm with Octopus, by the way, if that matters. It turned out like what I was paying was more expensive than what it would be to go on the fixed rate. I do realise that obviously it will change regarding like what we use and things, but it just seemed a good idea with what might be happening in terms of prices. So I was one of those people that didn't get a fixed rate last time because they were so expensive to get a fixed rate but this one wasn't bad at all but it looks like i am trapped with billy making biscuits on my lap for a little while <laughs> but i'm just gonna sit and chill watch the good doctor okay so i've just put my hair up in a claw clip it's sticking up everywhere but that is not the point hang on <laughs> anyway what i'm wanting to do is i've seen this thing on tiktok where people basically give themselves freckles using false tan. I don't quite have the right equipment for this, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. I'm probably gonna regret this. I do have work tomorrow. Probably a bad decision, but we're gonna do it anyway. Story of my life. So I have a couple of options. Basically people use a stippling brush, which is basically a brush which like has loads. It's like a, I'll pop one on screen cause I can't really describe it, but it's basically like, got points on it um the only options i have is this one which is like a fluffy brush a smaller fr fluffy brush or i have like this one which i could use like this outer thing and do individual ones but i feel like i get too carried away with this one and i need like a generalized like a generalized one if that makes any sense so i think i might go with this one actually and see how that works out I'm actually making myself a bit nervous here. I shouldn't be doing this. We're gonna give it a go. I just wanna see what it looks like. I always find it well. I mean, I do get freckles in the summer. So when I'm out in the sun, I do get some freckles, but I always find it wild how like people want freckles now. Whereas like growing up, nobody wanted freckles. Freckles were weird. I'm just basically dipping the brush into the false tan. And then I'm gonna like, try and separate the brush out a bit so it's a bit more like that is this gonna work i don't know i've got like a loose hair on my brush hang on i feel like i need something to like dab it on so that it's like more out so it's more kind of like spread out if that makes sense and then we're literally just gonna okay this might be working <laughs> Oh gosh. Right, let's not do, get too carried away with that side. I'm gonna do them across here and then I'm gonna do some like across my forehead as well. Cause that's like where I naturally get freckles. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe, Put a bit more on my nose. So just going for like where you get sun kissed naturally, like that. <laughs> And then what I see people doing is like blotting them in so that they kind of blend. So I'm gonna do that. Don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this on for half an hour because that's how long you leave the tan on anyway. And then I'll wash my face and we'll come back and see whether it's worked. I mean, I don't feel like this is something that I do very often, but like if I wanted to, if I was like going out on like a, do you know, like in the summer, you go in for like day drinks and stuff. I feel like this might look cute. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, it's later on, trying to give myself the best lighting because I've just washed my face and I feel like I've just washed off all the freckles. I actually really liked it before I did that. <laughs> Should I have just left it on? Although having said that, when I do false tan normally, you get the layer on, then when you wash it off, it does look like you've washed everything off and then it develops over like the next eight hours. 
So now is probably not the best time to review them, but I will put a photo on, a rather posy one, of me and what they look like before I wash them off. And hopefully by the morning they should look like that again. Fingers crossed. There won't unfortunately be an update on that for the morning because this vlog is going to be going up in the morning and I'll be out at work when it goes up. So I won't be able to put that on, but yeah, you can't see a thing. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works and they'll look cute. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like I've talked your ears off today. So nothing but natter. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you.